So welcome guys, today it's all about my presentation of the 7 Tesla MRI. I'm sure you're excited, even I'm a bit nervous, but you really want me to do the presentation first. 7 Tesla, are you sure? Mm. The video presentation is dedicated to our supervisor Mariam Ma'am and the respected HOD and the faculty members of radiology department. Please watch the video till the end. Thank you. Brothers and sisters, do you know we have a 1.5 Tesla machine that's inside our radiology department? I mean that one is it's universally accepted. 1.5 means it's a beginner level. Now, if you talk about Europe or UK, those people are doing research on 7 Tesla. They have started practicing now. It's clinical. Uh, there are some machines which are not clinically advanced that much, but they will be soon in the clinical setup. And 7 Tesla is the beginning of the future. Uh -huh. I'm going to uh, show you some modalities here. So this one, which is on the screen, is currently from G. And they in, it's called it Signa 7 Tesla. So they have brought this machine in the market. We must shoot it with an integrated pa parallel circuits or sort of. Now this one is the, from the Siemens. And this is also Siemens. So you have two. The first one was the Signa 7 Tesla. And this one is Siemens. So I kind of like the design of Siemens. So now let's focus on the usage and kind of things which would be a biggest achievement in the history of MRA is how do we proceed with the 7 Tesla. Ultra high field magnetic resonance imaging which includes the MRI field strength at or above 7 Tesla. This allows a very detailed imaging uh, in the small areas of the brain or small structures of the brain. It also offers increased sensitivity of the blood flow and blood oxygenation for functional imaging study compared to lower field MRI imaging. Ultra high field MRIs offer a greater signal to noise ratio. That is, 7 Tesla has a greater signal to noise ratio, better spatial resolution, in it, and improved image contrast. Um, in a typical MRI scan, each voxel is 3D equivalent of a pixel, which represents uh, tens of thousands of brain cells. And for ultra high field imaging, becomes much more precise with each voxel covering a fraction of a millimeter and in some cases a less than 100 brain cells this really has enabled research breakthrough based on various brain structure having some logical futures for example no scientists can discover numerous subfields of hippocampus a key structure damaged in aging or alzheimer's disease and this new data can help the doctors and the researchers to gain a clear understanding of how Alzheimer's disease affects the brain and that will allow the doctors or the researchers to design a targeted treatment. In a one study of the pituitary gland, the 7 Tesla detected the 90% more tumors, small tumors which were unnoticeable or we couldn't notice them in the first Tesla are 2 Tesla, 3 Tesla, 4 Tesla, 5 Tesla. So 7 Tesla is a bigger deal to watch keenly and clearly these pituitary tumors which have been easily notified by the 7 Tesla. And patients which had chronically elevated cortisol and got a lot of benefit by uh, this kind of a scan. So they can avoid a basic diagnostic uh, uh, procedure before they get a surgery. So they have other options as well. Um, maybe you know what they can uh, keenly look through what they have to go through before proceeding for any other surgery and the ultra high field MRI called the 7 Tesla MRI also offers increased resolution and contrast so because once we have increased contrast and resolution so we can study the blood vessels in the brain very easily and that's the reason researchers can use the powerful scanners and um, that will help them to get the detailed image everything from large arteries to small arteries uh, very small lenticular striated arteries with a diameter of less than one millimeter and due to which as a result these, these these researchers can develop i mean they can get extract information about the the pathology small pathologies which were getting unnoticed and this is the reason this is a critical thing to for advanced studies we should have the basic information clean so we have we need to have a clear uh, information from the cerebrovascular disease like stroke 
another technical thing which has got the researchers much more interested is the study of the perivascular spaces in the brain which is really happening from this kind of a scan called the 7 tesla fluid filled regions surrounded in the brain brain's blood vessels and which are involved in the waste clearance visualizations of the perivascular space and when we have a complete visualization of perivascular space that helps us to you know what um, make a proper treatment of alzheimer's disease in addition to these key advanced things and this also this kind of a high grade of uh, tesla can also help in detecting neural activations uh, throughout the brain uh, through the layers of cortex and this can help in reveal how complex the neural search so helps uh, in uh, arterial uh, spin labeling uh, in dual mode basically so guys let's watch this clip it's a 1.5 tesla mri axial cut it's an axial scan see this is the quality of 1.5 I'm just making you simply understand. This is coronal. Now finishing the coronal 1.5 Tesla cut. Now let's go for the next one. Sagittal. As we know, there are three basic planes on which we do the MRI. Now if we go for sagittal, this is 1.5 Tesla. Now let me show you the clarity of the 7 Tesla. This is 7 Tesla brain image. Now look at the con Im the strength. You can see the clarity. And this was done at the Boston USA by a team. Check. And this is the reason I want you to understand the basic nature. The bigger the camera, the bigger the clarity, the bigger the resolution, and bigger the perspective. So this is your MRI brain, 7 Tesla. Now, let me show you also this 100 micron MRI of the human brain. It's an actual one. Now see, this is on the 100 micron up. You can see the kind of a resolution. Look at it. And this is of a human brain. And this is extracted from... Um, Radiopedia. It's a research project which they were doing. You can understand. The, check the complete MRI done on 7 Tesla. You can see the kind of a clarity which it does have. So this is the basic reason I want you to understand the 7 Tesla. Now 10 Teslas are coming. 7 Tesla will be functional soon in the market. It has opened up. up uh, there are different designs open and closed as well. But I'm sure the closed one will be much better. So guys, I hope you liked this small presentation of mine and uh, keep uh, going for more and also uh, let me know if there is anything that you could not understand. Uh, however, I've tried to give a simple definition of the 7 Tesla MRI uh, machines which are right now available and maybe in future you will be also working on these machines. And special thanks to everyone who has watched this presentation. I wish you a good uh, career ahead.